One of the issues that Wild Arts has is they're extremely lacking skill detail when it comes to explaining how their skills work. And one of these groups of skills that tends to get pushed aside or just misunderstood is the harvesting and gathering skills that are supposed to help you gain more materials. The issue comes from the fact that these skills are poorly worded and also aren't doing exactly what it says they're supposed to be doing. Taking a look at Harvester, for example, this skill will increase the amount of materials you gain from carving small kimono. This doesn't, however, affect large kimono in any way whatsoever, you actually will not gain any more materials from that, and as far as I know there are no way to guarantee that you're going to get more materials from slaying a large kimono. But this skill also only works for killing small kimono, so unless you're out there farming for specific drops such as the Flotation Curtis, I think is what they're called, from the serpents or small scales, large scales, whatever. The skill isn't really all that useful, and frankly that kind of goes with all of the gathering skills. Animal Whisperer, the counterpart to Harvester, will increase the amount of materials you get from petting Kimono, but again that's only petting, and the armor sets that both of these are on make it so that you can't just have both. You have to choose one or the other for your set. Now this isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it can kind of be annoying or really just tedious to have to swap between a specific Harvester set or a specific Animal Whisperer set. And even then, they're only on two pieces. They're on the beginning high rank head and legs for both of their perspective, I guess, sets. Now these two you are able to get Talisman for. Um, Harvester, you can get talismans up to 3% for Sportail, and Animal Whisperer, you can get talismans also up to 3% from Rage Tail. So overall, the, these two aren't really that bad. In fact, I personally think Harvester is very good, especially if you are looking for more meat-based food options, as you will be able to gain more and more meat from all of your kills. It makes it a lot easier to actually build a backlog of unprepped food that you can then slowly start to prep over the course of your hunts. The Animal Whisperer, I could see it being useful, but honestly all of the materials that I found that I needed for my actual armor pieces and weapons were from harvesting them, from killing them. I know that there are some spices and stuff that you can get from petting a wild kimono, but I never really found spices in general to be all that useful. The other two gathering or harvesting or whatever you want to call them, material gaining skills are acquisition art and connoisseur. Acquisition art increases the amount of materials you gain. That's honestly the closest I could get to remembering how it is, and frankly, I don't think that's far off. This is an interesting one. So, acquisition art, as far as I know, can only come from armor pieces. After all of the looking I did of all the talismans, I could not find a talisman drop that came with connoisseur or acquisition art. And the reason I say acquisition art is interesting is because this boosts the amount of gatherables or materials you can get from what I call nodes. So basically your mining nodes, the lumber nodes, any of the actual gatherable materials in the world that aren't foodstuffs will count towards this. However, a really, a really cool thing I found that I don't know if it's actually intended or if it's even working the way I think it's working but Acquisition Art can actually trigger on the Tsukumo Ore Shrines. I found that after equipping Acquisition Art, I was able to get upwards of 6, maybe 7 ore from the actual shrines themselves instead of the usual 5 that I was used to seeing. Which makes me think Connoisseur 
a skill that just boosts the rarity of the materials you gain works the same way. So I think these two can be really useful to just throw on really quickly right before you're about to gather from all of your ore shrines, which you should have a lot of in all of your camps and every map, just so that you're able to get a large collection of ores fast. Otherwise, acquisition art doesn't actually really affect anything else, and I do not know exactly how useful Connoisseur is considering most of the harvestable goods, if it even works on those, have one drop from their drop table. So out of all the testing I did, Harvester seems like a pretty good skill, allows you to build up a large collection of meat, which is kind of just what I feel like is the most useful personally. Otherwise, you're using the fishing wheels or herb shrines to get other types of food. I personally have a lot of fishing wheels because I think fish are also really, really good. And I also use a lot of the bladed wagasa, which just kind of gets punished if you don't have a lot of stamina. Animal Whisperer. If I knew the exact drop tables of what could be gathered from petting every kimono, maybe I could see it. But so far, I don't and don't really think there's many that are that useful. Acquisition art? Really, there's no reason not to just have the two armor pieces that have acquisition art. Just so that you can throw them on to gather from your ore shrines so that you have the chance of just getting a little bit more. Again, it's like a one to two more. It's not a big difference, but in a game like this, every little bit counts. And then Connoisseur, that one kind of just depends. Both Connoisseur and Acquisition Art, you can only get up to 10% from what I've seen. And much like Harvester and Animal Whisperer, they are on the same pieces, so you can never have both of them active at the same time. So those two feel very situational. I feel like if you want them, you can have them, but they aren't going to make or break anything. Harvester is the only one that I feel like you absolutely need if you want to run meat-based food for the attack boosts, crit boosts, or whatever you see that you need as well as it makes it easier for as well as it makes it easier for farming out the large scales and actual kimono based crafting materials that are needed for a bunch of different weapons, weapon upgrades or armor. But yeah, that's just what I've noticed about the harvesting skills and how I feel like they could be used better or just not used at all. I've already made a video on it, but I could make like three more over all of the different skills that I find to either be completely useless or not work entirely how they probably were intended to work. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I wish you all luck in your next hunt. And I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.